Hello everybody! So I thought I would attempt to do an ASMR vlog. Um, I'm not sure if it's gonna work or not so you may just need to turn the volume down but basically I'm going to go a little shopping. Um, I'm going to go to some second-hand shops and I want to find some books so I thought I would take you along with me. So yeah, let's go! Still haven't found anything. Not very successful. Oh, there's another one. Another one. We can go inside here. throat. I went to McDonald's for lunch when I was out because I was a bit hungry and I thought I'd go to McDonald's. I was gonna film but they had music on so I don't know and my throat what is going on? Okay there's this like gap in my car and 
it's got like the uh like where the radio is and it's got like my time and everything and i don't know why but the phone fits like perfectly in this little gap so love that might be able to do some more driving videos um but i thought i would pretty much end this vlog here i know it's not a very long vlog because well to be honest when i went into the bookshops there wasn't that many books um i guess people aren't donating as much i'm not sure or i just got there a bit too late um but i did pick up some books also please excuse this green thing it's a bucket because i'm gonna clean the car but i thought i would show you some of the books that i got now you're probably thinking that i actually buy like way too many books and i'm gonna be honest i do buy a lot of books but i i also like giving to charity so it's kind of like a win-win um yeah i want to support local charities so i may keep them i may give them back to charity i'm not entirely sure yet um but i just love books um i love how like they look on shelves and i'm gonna be moving soon and i have quite a lot of uh, i have like an idea that i want to do so as much as i want to read these i also want them for my place um so yeah i have i have some books for that um but yeah i love like i love reading and although the books aren't that are in my book club i do read other books other than the book club books i feel like i just said book club like too many times but that's yeah that's what i mean um so i actually i actually only have four books so i didn't actually go no five books <laughs> so i didn't actually go crazy um but some of these books actually i think all of these books were 99p or 49p the books that i got last time uh i can't remember which video that was in oh the other thrift shop where i got loads of michael Morpurgo's books um they they were like 25p that bookshop was is really cheap i did go back to that bookshop but they didn't have as much um so yeah also i hope this video is okay i will try to sort out the audio for this video but i just wanted to do something different i wanted you to i don't know i guess kind of get to know me a little bit um like have a have a chat with me sort of thing so i hope it is somewhat still relaxing i will try to like sort the volume out for you but also the sun is out and it's lovely and i'm gonna be honest i am not parked in my normal space um like under my little shelter because i'm gonna clean my car um so that's why i've parked in one of my neighbors because i'm hoping they're not gonna come back because i'm gonna clean the car soon because it is very messy and dirty but oh, i I need to show you this okay so look i'm gonna show you how i've propped you up because i'm so proud of myself so i normally have it over here right but i'm going to flip the screen but i mean it's very dusty but this my phone literally fits in this wedge so it's really like a perfect fit this is amazing okay i'm just gonna have another bit of my drink So yeah, I'm going to show you the books that I got. So the first book that I picked up was actually this book. I think I did film it in the shop. I'm not entirely sure of what footage I actually got, what I'm going to keep. I'm not sure at all. Um, so I did pick up this book. Now, this book is actually relatively old. It was out in 2018. Um, so it's not old, old um but it is fairly old now i actually saw this in asda like the other day yesterday i actually think it was and i was like should i get it should i not 
Should I get it? Should I not? And then I saw it and it was 49p and I was like, yeah, I'll get it. Um, so yeah, I thought I would get this. It has been like red, this, like the spine is, um, warning i suppose but the book's actually in really good condition this is like a really short book i'm trying to get more short books because i'm noticing with also my hair looks really long um i'm i'm noticing that with like much larger books some of them i just can't get into at the moment and yeah i'm kind of just looking for shorter reads that's my that's my thing at the moment see what i can get um so i have found this one and because i was gonna get it anyway i just thought i'll get it since it's discounted and yeah the money always goes to charity which is great so yeah this is the book um by sally rooney and it's called normal people it was a winner of the 2018 costa novel award and it says Cornell and Marianne grow up in the same small town in the west of Ireland. The similarities end there. In school, Cornell is popular and well-liked, while Marie is a loner. But when the two strike up a conversation, awkward but electrifying, something life-changing begins. Normal People is a story of mutual fascination, friendship and love. It takes us from that first conversation to the years beyond in the company of two people who try to stay apart but find they can't. So this book just seems like it would be, it's just like a really lovely read. That's what it seems like. And that's exactly what I need. I've been trying to venture out and get different books, romance, um, because normally I would just read um, like mysteries and thrillers. So this it's just something that I think I'm going to enjoy at the moment because this is kind of like the phase that I'm in. Yeah, I suppose. So yeah, I thought I would get this because I've kind of had my eye on it for a while. So I did. And then the next one, the next book that I got, I think... Okay, so three books were from another place, um, which I didn't film in because I couldn't. <laughs> there was a very small shop and the books were like right at the front and I was like can't do this although maybe i did film i can't remember but the second book that i got was this book called bookshop now i don't know why i just love the front cover and yeah it's a small book and yeah i don't know i just thought i might like this so i picked it up it says it's now like a movie but i haven't seen the movie so yeah i thought i would pick up this one um, so yeah, it's like a really, it is quite a short book, it's only like 150 pages, so I might start this one soon and finish it soon, I'm not sure, um, but yeah, I'll read it to you. So, it, so it says, England, 1959, in a small East Anglian town, Forest Green decides against polite, but ruthless local opposition to open a bookshop. Now, if you know me, you know I want to have my own bookshop. So this is kind of like, I had to read it. Um, Hardware becomes a battleground. Floris has tried to change the way things have always been done and in doing so has crossed those who have made themselves important, such as the formidable Mrs. Gamart and even natural and supernatural forces too. Her fate will strike a chord with anyone who knows that life has treated them with less than justice. Wise and ironic, funny and humane, Fitzgerald is a wonderful, wonderful writer. So I just thought that this might be like a genuinely nice book to read. Um, and it's only short, so if it's not something that I would enjoy, then that's okay but i don't know i've really liked the authenticity project and the midnight library so i'm hoping that i don't think it's going to be like those two but it's kind of the same concept i suppose so i really think i'm gonna enjoy it and it just looks really sweet and yeah i kind of just wanted it so i got it and it was 99p then i picked up this book here which 
I don't know why, I kind of just stuck out to me. Again, I think I'm kind of going for the romance books, but, um, it's fine. Um, so this is called Meet Me at the Museum, and I just thought, mm, meet me at the museum. I thought I'm gonna like it, I like museums, so. But yeah, I just thought I was gonna like this one, and again, it's relatively small, so it's something that I want. All of, most of these books are, like, shortlisted for Costa, so that must be good. Um, but yeah, I'll read you the back. When Tina Hopgood, housewife and mother, writes a letter of regret to a man she has never met, she doesn't expect a reply. When Anders Larsson, a lonely museum curator, answers it, neither does he. Tina and Anders are searching for something, they just don't know it yet. As they bear their souls to each other, stories of joy, anguish and discovery pour out of them. Suddenly, Tina stops writing and Anders is thrown into despair. Can their unexpected friendship survive? Oh my goodness, like, I hope it does. So, this just seems like so interesting. I'm guessing that the last letter or something it's going to be meet me at the museum and then that's when she doesn't respond hopefully she turns up at the museum that's my theory but yeah this just seems like a really lovely book so yeah i thought i would give this one a little read as well so these three have been you know relatively short books um which is great so yeah i'm just really excited with what i found um but yeah, we've got two more books left. So the next book um, was from a different place. This one was £75. And this one is a Michael Moore Pergo book. And if you know, then you know. But I have, I'm actually trying to collect Michael Moore Pergo's books. He has so many. Um, but they're just, they're just great books, great stories. They are designed for children, I mean, they do have some illustrations in, not loads, but some illustrations in, and the writing is very, it's easy to follow, easy to read, but they are genuinely quite big books, um, and yeah, I, I'm going to be honest, I didn't know he wrote this one, this is Pinocchio by Pinocchio, um, so yeah, I didn't even know he wrote this, so yeah i thought i would give this one a read and it can also be added to my michael moore pergo collection which i've actually got quite a few now but i've realized there's so many more that i just don't have um so yeah i'm still collecting but as soon as i saw this i was like i'm gonna get it i'm gonna get it so i'll read it to you my name is pinocchio I reckon I must be just about the most famous puppet the world has ever known, but I'm more than just bits of wood and string. I'm me, so it's about time that I, Pinocchio, told you my story. So I thought this would just be really nice. It's kind of like an adaptation, I suppose. But yeah, it just looks nice. It looks like, I don't know, really, I mean, the cover looks cheerful. It's nice and colourful. And yeah, I... I have always been a fan of Michael Paulberger's books. Michael Paulberger? Michael Moorberger's books. Um, but I only read like a few of them when I was younger and I'm trying to collect them now so I can reread them. Because although they're for children, they're still just really great stories. Um, so yeah, I am trying to collect them, but there are so many. So that was that book. And then the final book, which, I mean, you can see a little bit of it, um, is mainly for aesthetic reasons. For when I move, I want to have like a, a bookcase with kind of like old books or old looking books. Um, so this book is like this. And if you kind of get what I mean, it's kind of old-fashioned in the way that it is um, but it has got five four stories within it and two of the stories I, I actually really would like to read they're not really I suppose they are stories yes they are stories so it has a treasure island the 
Gull of the Wild, which I've never heard of, I don't know why. I've heard of Treasure Island, Treasure Island. I haven't heard of that one. And the next one is Oliver Twist, a classic. And then the last one is The Diary of a Young Girl. And I have always wanted to read The Diary of a Young Girl because it is Anne Frank's story. Um, and this book, although it's, it is very like old, old looking, it's actually like a really nice book. Um, so yeah, I, I really wanted to get this one and um yeah i'm i'm just so pleased i managed to to get it i think it'll look really nice on the shelf and i've also got some story like some stories i'm gonna call it stories that i can actually read and because i have always wanted to read the diary of a young girl and i haven't i've just ma never managed to get my hands on the book um so yeah i have this as well um oh, i nearly dropped it um, so yeah, I got that book, I got another Michael Morbago's book, which is going to be added to my collection. I'm going to have a whole shelf for books. And uh, we have Mimi at the museum, which is, just seems really cute. I love it. We also have the bookshop, which I think I'm actually going to love it. And we have the normal people, which again, I think I'm going to love. Um, so yeah, these are just a couple of books that I managed to find today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little vlog. I know it wasn't probably as long or very good <laughs> because I can't really film. I tried my best to do it as ASMR-like as possible. Um, so I'm sorry if it's slightly too loud. But if you did like this video, let me know because I'm always book hunting so i can always film another one of these that's not a problem but yeah i'm just so happy i managed to get some more books um i do have a lot of books that i need to read but i find with books that it doesn't matter like how many you have because like i have ages to read them like do you know what i mean so yeah I just like having books even if I just read like parts of them and turns out I don't like them like that's fine um you know you can take them back to charity um there's also something that I'm gonna do well I kind of need to sort it out but I'm when I move hopefully in a couple of months there is something really exciting that I would love to do but it kind of depends on where I'm living at the time so it is book related and it's something that i'm very passionate about and i've done a lot of research on it so i'm kind of saving up some books for that um yeah it's it's gonna be like an area thing so yeah i don't want to say too much in case i don't end up doing it but it's definitely something that i really would love to do um so yeah that's why some of the books that i'm getting i'm kind of collecting it for that um so yeah, I just want to say thank you so, so much again for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this and yeah, I shall see you again very, very, very soon. Bye-bye everybody.